right two weeks two vlogs so we had a second because land rover life is well eventful isn't it so this week we have done quite a lot of things we have been to cotswold motor hub and they had an evening meet and i'll put that bit of the video at the end we had a great evening out we took the range rover classic but the range rover classics a bit poorly anyway we'll do a little bit more i'll fill you in that's also in this vlog ineos have done a competition brilliant and it's the best competition in the world ever because i think they've made a mistake in the terms and conditions so keep watching that and if you want a cheap trip from australia or from america to the uk it looks like the ineos competition might be your thing right what else have we done we've got a new project car and we've got and we're going to cut our tire this is our tire we were off-roading in the defender the other day we've got the new duratex on there we'll go and have a look at those in a second but look this is the sidewall and you can see there i painted it so you could see and it's ripped through so i'm just going to quickly cut this tire and then we'll go and look at the duratex and then we'll put the range rover and then we'll do the ineos competition and then we'll do the cotswold motor hub thing well, i'm not sure what the correct tool for cutting a tire is i'm not even sure there is a correct tool for cutting a tire so right let's get my safety glasses on and we'll go oh we're gonna set the fire alarm off oh i better do this outside right come on let's have a look we've cut through that so there we go so well, what we're looking you can see how thin the, the side wall is here look it's all it's not too thick at all here um and when i was cutting through you can see i've got wires here um that i cut through but there was no wires or anything in this this side wall here so i'm they just don't seem to have any strength or reinforcing in these sidewalls. So these are the good year Wranglers. Let's go and look at the new Duratex. So here are the Duratex on the car. I think we saw them in the last vlog, but not on the car. Maybe we did. But you've got much more chunky grips here, much thicker Kevlar reinforced. So these are the Wrangler Duratex. Good year Wrangler Duratex. So these are the next stage up. Now we drove these to Cheltenham the other day no road noise at all super grip so these look like they're the better job right let's get on right so the Range Rover Classic was out last night and it was making a bit of a hissy noise and I wasn't too sure about it um, so if you have a listen to this I've disconnected the um, the fuel pump shot off and the keys are off so I'm just going to use the wire here to start the um, to turn the motor over and if you listen there's a psh, psh, psh. and sometimes when it stops you can go psh. but i can't see where it's coming from but it's definitely it's an odd one because there's no diesel or smoke or anything coming out it's running fine but it's like psh, 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 psh. so i'm going to get a load of soapy water cover it all in soapy water and see if we can see where the where the air is leaking it's hard to tell right let's have a go we're all soaked up let's see if we can see where this is coming out of here we go start it up ah yeah so it's definitely coming up from in between here um so what have we got there we've got a head gasket gone then haven't we if it's pooping up from in between there so we're gonna have to take the <laughs> manifolds off let me see again if I can work out exactly which one it is. It's coming up. It's lucky the head gasket hasn't gone. There's no oil in the water or anything, but it's definitely in here. All right, let's do that again. It's coming out of, of there as well, so it's it's definitely something leaking in between those two so it looks like we got a poorly range rover that's a real pain so i'm gonna have to take the heads off and put a new gasket on mm. right let's have a look right it's a bit of deja vu we've got a broken vm engine so i've taken the cylinder heads off one two and three now they're actually quite easy to take off and everything looks okay in there all looks like it's been doing fine but the gasket i'm pretty sure has gone on on this one here um, now 
I put the individual gaskets on and some people said to me, you need to use the MLS gaskets. Or, and I was like, well, what's MLS? Is it a brand? And it's, it's sort of like multi-layer steel gaskets or something. And it turns out you were probably right. So it looks like we've had uh, one of the gaskets has blown past the the middle there. Um, so, and you can see it on the side of the cylinder head. There's some sort of sooty evidence up the side here, you can see. So we are gonna put a one-piece gasket. I'm gonna take all the cylinder heads off and we're gonna put a one-piece gasket on. I think that'll help it because I think you've got this sort of weakness where you're going between, you've got two individual gaskets and it's quite thin in the middle. And I, I can see the sense in having you know, one solid gasket that could react itself. Because, yeah, there's something been going on there. It doesn't look quite right. So we will get it, get that last cylinder head off, get it all cleaned up. Bank holiday weekend, luckily, so I can tinker with this over the weekend. I'll order some bits now. Um, but it's worth doing now. I know all you VM haters out there are going to be going, Oh, Simon, told you you should have put a 200 TDI in. i got to be honest, if I had to take that 200 cylind 2DI cylinder head on, I'd be cussing right now. That's taken me a couple of hours today to do that. And I haven't broken my back taking off those cylinder heads. Lush little individuals. In and when she's driving, she's driving fine. The fuel economy is brilliant. So I am actually a big fan of the VM. Although I am losing my patience a little bit. But I'm going to persevere. I'm going to put that down to me rushing and choosing the wrong gaskets. And not listening to the people out there that know better. So I'm going to get the best head gasket I can. Get that all back together again. She'll be up and running. She will be fire fighting. She will be a fire chief's car in no time. And then I, oh, I've got the blue spotlights. I haven't shown you those. They turned up this week. Look at those. Ooh, look at those. So we've got the blue. So we're going to wire those up with a little flashy dashy thing. And we'll get the CB radio working. And we'll get it all going. Um, so there you go. Yeah, Land Rover life. <laughs> Right, another thing we've got new in the last couple of weeks is we've got this new raised 3D E2 printer. Um, and we've kind of hacked it because it could normally only take small spools which can't keep up with what we need. So we've, we've engineered this little table so we've got it feeding large spools. So that's printing extra stuff. The 3D printers are absolutely racing along. We've got all of them going now. We've got a whole bank of them going 24-7 printing product here we go that one is printing a charging tray there you can see it going along okay there's another charging tray oh, we've got charging trays going on that's got some clips on it there you go and that's what they look like sort of part way through you can see there it's building up the layers step by step by step beavering away 24 7 Back has been working. We've got the rear molly plate. That's nearly done now. Zach's just finalising his little clips that clip in behind here. Um, so we've got that one nearly ready to go. And he's now started working on a side molly plate solution there with some clips. So we've got that on the go. Right, we're down at Inchscape Volkswagen. We're supposed to be collecting our new Volkswagen ID bus. Is there anywhere to be seen, Ben? There's a two-tone one over there, Ben. Oh, is there one in the show? Oh, they're going to do a big reveal. We're going to have a proper... It looks right. Hold on, Ben. What's going on there? Has Ben spotted it yet? Ah! Right, let's go and have a look. Right, so there is our new ID buzz. Ben's just going to get in and drive that back. We'll get that back to back to the warehouse and we'll have a look over it. And then we'll think what sort of videos we're going to do on it. Um, so, yeah, we're not sure yet, but we wanted to buy a different car. We'll have a look at it. We'll see what it's like. We'll see what upgrades we can do. Look at the spec. Look at the build quality. Play with the software. Right, let's go. Here she comes. Yeah, don't crash it coming out the showroom. So there we go. There is the new VW. Collecting the new VWID buzz. Right, let's get back to the get back to the unit. 
and have a look. Well, there we go. Yeah, the buzz is back at the ranch. So we're going to have a, we've been having a discussion, some bits we can do with it. We might do some, now I know we've got Land Rover stuff still to do. We've got the Discovery Sports still to do, but we're going to try and challenge ourselves, see if we can do the Discovery Sport, more Freelander 2 stuff and dip our toe into the Volkswagen world. Um, we got a few things we want to do on it. There's, there's a, like a, a big gap in the grill down here. Look, you can go straight through there, straight into the radiator. Then you get your fist through. So something needs doing there. We'll do the normal sort of powerful UK bits. Right, Ben's checking whether we can get pallets in the back. What are you pallet making this weekend, Ben? Uh, a gate. A gate, yeah. a pallet gate. There you go, look, it's better than the stick already. Look, it takes a full size pallet. All right, let's load up some pallets. So Ineos sent me an email and said, Simon, join this competition. So they have some, and so this competition is cool. And what are you going to win? So this is all with some of their partners. Um, we are going to, where does it tell us what we're actually getting? How to enter, right? All you've got to do is enter your name and email. Okay, but basically there are, there's three parts. There it is up here, look, sorry. I zoomed all the way past it. So you get some, there's a free glamping experience at this festival, right? Worth £1,250, okay, on the in August, right? And then there's off-road ultimate Ineos Grenadier driving experience for two at the choice of locations and dates around the UK. So that all sounds good. They don't put a value on that one. That's priceless, right? And then you can also, the winner gets all of this and also gets a Bell Staff Trailmaster 75 jacket worth 494 quid and then on top of this, this is a monster competition you get a two night stay here for two with dinner at the heartlet holder and co herb house spa so we can get all sparred up and this is lush and all you got to do is put your name but after the coloring competition that any else had where if you if you as a kid happened to design a design that someone else had ownership of in the terms and conditions it said you had to indemnify Ineos against all legal action and stuff which I thought was a bit so I thought I'd better before I get carried away and just go put in my name and email in it I thought I'd better read the terms and conditions so and I thought OMG look at all those bad boys oh 23 points it's only a competition so there we go I'll plow through and go competition closes the 6th of June so get your skates on boys and girls Get in, I'll put the link for this competition in the description of the video below. So 6th of June, you got, you got your, we got time enough. So okay, prizes non-transferable, no cash alternative. You'll not be the end of the festival without the ticket. You've got to be over 18. Now number nine, number nine is the gem. Let me know what you think. It says expenses, travel feasting. Oh, we like a bit of feasting. Food, drinks, treatments, and other other don't know what other other but other other products or services not outlined above is included during the festival or overnight now do you think they meant all that extra treatments and, and the travel and the expenses do you think they meant to write is not included i have a sneaking suspicion they did so here's it if you're in australia or america and you want to go to this and you enter this and win it do they cover you for expenses travel feasting food drinks treatments and all the other stuff i don't know will they change it but if you enter i mean this is the legal terms and conditions so surely this surely they've got to honor this i don't know who knows anyway get on and enter it's only a problem if you win and then it's not a problem because it's in the terms and conditions right let's crack on Right, we're off to Cotswold. I've forgotten what it's called already, Ben. What's it called? Cotswold Motor Hub. Cotswold Motor Hub. That's where we're going, just outside Bybury in the Cotswold. What a beautiful evening. It's some sundown classics sort of get together chit chat. What's it officially called, Ben? Coffee and Classics. Coffee and Classics at sundown. So seven o'clock in the evening. So we got Zach in the back. We're in the we're in the fire engine. We got Ben driving here, driving with us. I'm driving on the wrong side. We've got behind us. Got some Nissan GTR. We've we've not done this before, have we, Ben? No. Craig said, Craig from Camtech Land Rover, he said, Simon, we're going over. Pop out, let's let's have a chinwag. So we've got no idea what we're going to, but we know it's a beautiful evening. And we're in the classic. We got it all fire engined up. So here we go, let's go have a look what's going on. Right, we got something going on. Now, are we going to follow the Land Rover rule where if you see another Land Rover, you've got to park next to him? 
they got the hillbillies in the back of that pickup over there. Oh, we got a Fiat 500. Oh, they're going to want our tickets, aren't they, Ben? I got it on my phone. There we go. We got all sorts going on. We got some old and some new. How are we doing? How are you? Doing good. You remember me? Right, where do we park? Jaguar E-Type, classic. This interesting because now Jaguar is stopping production of all their petrol cars, including the F-Type. So that, is that going to be an end of the two-seater sports car for Jaguar from their heyday with the E-Type? Interesting. Another classic Jag, the Mark II. I mean, this was when Jaguar, every bank manager had a Jag. It was the car to have. But so apparently we're talking to the guys down at the dealership and Jaguar is going to try and compete with Bentley and Rolls-Royce. They're going to make a super electric car. They're going totally electric, but it's going to be interesting. So, you know, to me, Jaguar should be on there like the executive saloon and the two door sports car. But lately they've been making SUVs that compete with, seem to compete with the Evoque, the F-Pace and stuff. So be interesting to see where Jaguar go. Another classic Jag. I mean, they had it sewn up back in the day. Where have they lost their way? Like this was the XK150. And according to the badge, it was the winner of Le Mans multiple times. But look at that, that was, yeah, come on Jag, let's see what you've got to do. Don't make, don't make passenger SUVs, make exciting cars, make some cool cars. Okay, continuing on our continuing on our Jaguar evening. Look at that. It's a replica C type. But Jaguar had it sewn up in the day. What else have we got? What's Zach? What's Zach? What's taking Zach's fancy? Ferrari. Classic style in there, isn't it? That's So, oh, blimey, what's this one? Rolls Royce, whoosh. They got some cars here. They got a band playing. So, uh, this is another hangar full of classics. Some of these are for sale, some of these are on the show. There's an old Alvin. Maserati, a lot of Jags around, E-types. Fraser Nash. So I'll put a link down below in the description to the website so you can go and check what events they got going on here. Um, F-type, look at that. We like the number plate, muscle. I need to get a muscle number plate. <laughs> yeah, one, adva one advantage of the Range Rover is you can kind of spot it in the car park when you come to one of these events. Like, it kind of sits above the rest there. Look. We found a quiet American corner of the car park. Check that Chevy out. Now, would you get the chrome cleaner out on that or just leave it? Sun visor. They were just mad back in the day. Look at those hubcaps. Look at that. Totally mad. Even this little detail here is really sort of period and funky, this sort of art deco thing. Oh, look, a rangy. He's loving it. He's hiding there. So, yeah, in the car park here, there's ooh, into the sun car parks people just turned up in their interesting cars 
This Jack's got some weird mirrors going on. He's updated a few things on this. I think. He's got. I wonder. He's got some tricky little, funky mirrors and stuff. Mm. High level brake light. He's done some little modern stuff on that one. Got Mercedes. Do you reckon Emma drives that one? Could be. Series Land Rover. Got some patina on him, looking good. Ah, oh, XJS. These are looking better and better every year. Complete with guard dog that matches the interior. How did they do that? Look at that. You want there, buddy? V12. Whoosh. MG Midget Mini. It's a later one, but it's a cool Mini. Original Austin Mini. I've got a fleet of Porsches. Mazda. Oh, Mitsubishi. Oh, Evo. Police Interceptors. These are going to be... Oh, these already are a classic, but look at that. I think there's a lot of young kids that watch the uh, Police Interceptors that will either want a Subaru or a Mitsubishi. Nissan 300Z. Nissan and the Z cars start with the 240Z. Oh, look at that, it's got a target top. That is quite dated now, isn't it? But in a cool way. Mm. All right, look at this classic Lance. I was just talking to Zach about it. And you can see there's like a normal, very normal four door saloon in this car somewhere. But then the wheel arches, look. The wheel arches are bulging out. And it takes up the whole door as it's bulging out. And it's got a little spoil in the back. And then you look at the front wheel arches and, and the bonnet is bulging out. It's sort of it's sort of like it's the incredible Hulk. It's it's all just stretching and booming out. But it, yeah, it's just the compact four-door package. They won so many rallies, they are just awesome. Look at that. If you're not sure, I reckon that's the tow car. Check out the number plate. That sort of works. I'll give it. I'll give him five out of ten for that. Is that a trailer on the back? Look, they've been nicking police signs. Look, check it out. But don't worry. There's evidence of vice here. Look, check it out. Right, everyone's leaving now, so we're gonna head off. But. Yeah, check out, I'll put the link below. It's kind of a fun, low-key evening. They got burgers and everything going on here. Everyone just comes, it's all pretty low-key vibe, mad collection of cars. Um, they even got the X World Land Speed record cars in the, in the Barney. We were having a look at that earlier. Crazy. But there we go, let's get back in the fire truck and head off home. Right, there we go all done we're gonna drive home in the fire truck look at that view there Coxwold evening look at that beautiful can't beat it let's go down into Bybury